Welcome to day 90 of my 100 days of Warfare journey. Today we're gonna have a look at how to create this animation. So each card shows up one at a time with a delay of 200 milliseconds. And this is a CMS collection. So no matter how long this collection list can get, the cards will still animate accordingly. We're gonna use a little bit of custom code because this is a CMS collection and because we don't wanna animate each card on its own. So we just use one code that animates all of them according to a 200 millisecond delay between each. Let's see this in action. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Afro journey. Let's go. Okay, so again, this is the animation and question. This is what we wanna do. So whenever I scroll to a card section, each card just shows up one at a time with a delay of 200 millisecond between each card. So let's see how that is done. First of all, I have my collection list here. So this is the collection list and I have each item named as call collection item, call item. And this is what we're going to trigger in our code. So this is the custom code that we're going to use. Uh, first of all, we're just going to style it a little bit. We're just going to do some transform and transition uh, CSS styles to apply to call collection item, call item. And then we're going to do the jQuery or the custom code that triggers this. So this is done using some event listeners. Uh, we're going to select the call item. Uh, we're going to give it some margin. And then there's this threshold, which is basically the offset of the page. So we have that in Webflow term, we call it offset. And then uh, we, we are translating and we are putting into opacity each card one at a time with a delay of 200 milliseconds. Now we're indexing the card, so they are getting numbered. So that's how this is getting done. And we're also observing. So each when each item is in view, actually, that's when the animation happens. So let's view this. So if we publish, we're going to see that each item goes accordingly. We see that maybe the threshold can be minimized. So we can play around with that. Let's say we can set the threshold to be one. And that, of course, depends on the animation you want and the size of the items that you have. Now, in my case, I have big items that are, you know, stacked like that. So they are pretty straightforward. So now you see it's faster. Whenever I get to the section where the cards is, it's getting loaded faster and quicker. So this is much more convenient. Uh, again, I'm gonna leave a link to this clonable so you can check it out in the description below. And uh, that's the video for today. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. I'm going to leave a link to the clonable in the description below. So make sure to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Fuffler journey. See you tomorrow.